Hi, Nick at Clean PC here, and today we're going to be doing a Linux distribution review for Arco Linux version 20.6.5. Arco Linux is actually based on Arch Linux um, and originated in Belgium, currently ranking 18th at DistroWatch, uh, and the current desktop environment is XFCE. So, uh, installed Arco Linux uh, on my Proxmox box. Um, so I'm running it virtualized, 4 CPU, 6 gigs of RAM. Do want to note, uh, installation was really cool. Uh, one of the only installations I've seen where you have a lot of uh, ability to customize what you want to install. So as you went through the installer, it gave you basically carb launch to go and choose what you want installed. So really cool. Uh, so for some programs, I chose to install everything they had available versus other categories I chose not to. Um, so we will get started here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the menu and I'm going to search for the terminal. I'm going to open this up. Now one thing you're going to notice as soon as the terminal opens up, you get all this information presented to us. So this is actually done through NeoFetch. Um, and what it gives you is everything about your distribution. So we can see uh, the OS is listed as Arco Linux, the kernel that we're running, our uptime, the packages, um, the package manager, which is Pac Pacman. Um, our shell, current resolution, desktop environment, Windows Manager, the theme, the icons, our GNOME terminal, our CPU, our GPU, and our RAM. So really, really cool. Um, normally, on most distributions, you have to install NeoFetch after the fact. It was installed by default, so just thought I would mention that. And what we're going to do is we're going to run HTOP. So this just gives us a nice readout of kind of our system resources as we go and we open stuff up. And as we take a look here, we can see our processors, uh, we can see our memory usage, uh, a little bit over 700 megs, so uh, a little bit heavier than some of the light distributions out there, but um, in my opinion, well worth it. Um, this distribution is just really well done. They've done a nice job with the, the whole theme, the icons, very clean, very sleek, huge fan. So let's get into it here. So under accessories, you can see I chose to install everything they had. Um, so there's a ton of good stuff in here. Um, Atom, which is uh, an editor, bulk rename. So if you're not, if you're new to Linux and you're not uh, familiar with renaming via the terminal, this is a really cool program that you can run to rename a whole bunch of files. Um, so you go in here, in here, put the the current name, the new name you want. You can format it. You can do a custom format using logical operators, um, underscores, lowercase. Really, really cool. So you can do that in the shell as well. But this is a, a program, like I said, if you're new to Linux, um, got to rename a bunch of files. Really cool way to do it. So again, back under accessories, there's a whole bunch more I want to look at. You can see we've got uh, another editor here, Conky, down here as well, that you can start up so you can see your resources via that way. Um, file Manager, we'll go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, as it brings it up, we'll choose other locations. This is a VM, so I don't really have anything on here. So if we go look at the computer, and we go into Etsy, we can open up one of these configuration files. Now, kind of cool, so it's going to default and say, all right, let's open with Sublime Text, um, or we could choose other application, right? So if we did that, you can see all the different applications that we have on here to open that with. Um, I'm actually going to choose Genie. That's my editor of choice. And you can see it opens it up. Got some color coding. Really cool. Um, so, and again, Genie, uh, I chose to install that, but you can see as a file manager, it certainly does what it needs to do. So back under accessories, we've got a whole bunch more stuff in here. G calculator, Leafpad, another text editor. We can edit our menu. Notepad uh, QQ, which is the open source version on Linux of Notepad++. Uh, notes, we got Plank on here. We could take a screenshot with a couple different programs. Uh, we could look at our sensors. We could open Task Manager. Actually, go ahead and do that. Again, another way to look at our resources and the things that are running here. And back under here, we've just got a couple more things. Uh, we got our USB image writer, so if we want to uh, download an ISO and put it on a USB stick, we can use that to do that. Also have Vim and XF Burn. So really cool, lots of stuff in here to use. Um, and again, it was nice because you could choose uh, all this stuff to install or it would have installed a default set of uh, a handful of things. 
So in development, again, we've got a ton of different stuff. I said Atom, we've got Code OSS, Genie, which is one of my favorites, Notepad QQ, PyCharm, Sublime Text 3. So lots of good stuff in there. For graphics, you've got a whole bunch of stuff uh, as well. So we've got our document viewer, can view PDFs, um, GNU image manipulation, so kind of the open source version of Photoshop, although I like it a lot better than Photoshop personally, but if you've never used um, GNU image manipulation, also known as the GIMP, uh, really nice program. There is a learning curve um, similar to Photoshop, but um, definitely some things you have to do differently. But uh, if you haven't tried it, check it out. And again, if you install Arco Linux, it'll be in there for you. So under graphics, again, just a couple more things to take a look at. Inkscape, another great program to use uh, if you want to do vector graphics. Um, so open SCAD, which is really nice as well. And image viewer down here. Under internet, you'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff. You've got Chromium. You got FileZilla for file transfers, Firefox, Google Chrome, you got Microsoft Teams, you got Putty, you've got Skype, you've got Slack, you got TeamViewer, you got Thunderbird, uh, Tiger VNC, so lots of different stuff. Wireshark, really cool traffic analyzer. So what we'll do here is we'll go back up, we'll open Firefox. You just kind of note as we're opening this stuff up, you can just kind of take a look at the processor and the RAM usage. And we're going to go ahead and go to DistroWatch. Should be in my history here. Yeah. We'll go ahead and look at Arco Linux. Like I said, currently ranking 18th. So a little information on it right here. And do want to give the guys from the development team a uh, hit on their website. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, once this comes up, really nicely done website. Super clean. Um, definitely can tell it's part of the Arch branch. So nicely done there. Um, also, from the Distro Watch page, you can see their documentation is hosted on their website and the user forum. So if you're new to Linux or if you're not new to Linux, uh, if you're installing a distro and you want to be active, go ahead and go to the forums, create an account, ask your questions, um, become a user, and then you know start to answer questions because that's really what um, the communities are about, right? As you go and do things and try things, people are always willing to help you out. Uh, and as you gain that knowledge, give it back via the forums. So definitely want to give them a plug uh, for the website and their forum. So with that, we'll close Firefox out. Yep, we want to close all these tabs. So multimedia, again, just a ton of stuff. I chose to install Audacity. Uh, Cheese came by default. Rhythmbox is on there, as well as VLC and XFBurn. So if you're not familiar, VLC is great. This is kind of like a, a media player Swiss Army knife. You can play pretty much anything, audio or video, with this. Really cool program. Uh, you can record, you can convert. So uh, if you've never used it, definitely check it out. Um, if you had, you'll probably be glad it's on there. Okay, so in Office, um, got a whole bunch of stuff as well. So we've got LibreOffice. We can go ahead and kick on uh, LibreOffice Calc and let this open up. Takes a, a second, but there you go. Um, one thing that was cool is in the installation, it uh, offered me the option to install a couple other things. So I actually chose to install Abbey Word. So this is a open source program that I don't think gets uh, enough credit. Really cool version of basically Microsoft Word um, open source. Super light, opens really quick. Um, really nice program. Also kind of along those same lines. We've got GNumeric, which is a spreadsheet version. So again, they're not part of open office. They're their own entities, but really nice programs. Um, and you can see they open very quickly. So light resource usage, which is great. So, and in there too, you've got PDF Arranger, a couple other programs as well. Um, so then we have settings where there's just a ton of stuff in here to add software, customize appearance, uh, the tweak tool, which is really nice if you want to get into it, Bluetooth. So just a plethora of things to go through. Um, definitely check it out. And then we've got system down here. And again, there's a ton of stuff in here um, to take a look at. So... 
again, just super impressed with the system, um, the look, the feel, the performance. Uh, again, a friend of mine had told me to check this out, and I was really happy with the install, with the performance, and this is probably going to become one of my daily drivers. So, hope you enjoyed the review. Subscribe and come back for more content.